Hello my friends. It might sound echoey and that is because Mabel and I are at the new house. We got our keys earlier than we expected. Our movers don't come till the end of the week. So we're gonna get a real empty house tour. I did bring everything that was over in our cars just to um, get us settled in a little bit, but I can't wait to show you. This is the front entrance of the house. Miss Mabel, say hello. Hello. She has her dog dish and her water, so she is good to go. This house is three stories, so we have downstairs the main living floor and then the third floor upstairs. So I thought we would start downstairs and then make our way. The downstairs entrance is where, and I have stuff um, various places right now. The downstairs entrance is pretty well laid out. So this is our garage area. It's big enough for everything we need it. And then there's a big storage closet over there. But Steven's car will easily, easily fit in here with mine. So that's a great, great thing. And then we'll do some like big, great shelving here eventually. We have this great hexagon tile. This is actually a really nice size storage unit that goes even behind the staircases. So it will probably house all the Christmas decor and trees in that space alone. And then each floor is on its own thermostat, which we also really love. This is our little mudroom area. This will be for the dogs, all of that. That's why I love having this tile area for the dogs to come in first. And then I'm thinking entry table, big mirror, maybe the anthropology mirror down here. Not quite sure. And then this is the hallway in our place. This goes to our fenced in backyard with a patio. And then this is just another closet. You can hook up laundry down here. We're not going to, but it's a great storage closet nonetheless. And then you come in here and this is what we're probably, oh, let me turn everything on. And this is probably what we're going to set up as our office. So you have this beautiful space down here and then you can see out here to our patio. Our backyard isn't deep, but we have like a large side yard, which is super helpful. So this will most likely become the Peloton room and the um, office where the white down couch will go. We'll have a TV down here, our computers, all of that stuff. In here is a beautiful, really well-sized walk-in closet. Mabel approves. And then in here, we have a really beautiful vanity and then a full shower with like an inset. Love it. So that's this floor. The other thing that's really great that we haven't had in other places is we have remote controls on every outlet because we have these fans. And in New York, we didn't need it. So we can control the speed of the fan. And then we can also, let me see if I can get it to go. We can dim the light and make it as bright or as light as we want it. And then just turn it off as well. So you'll see these remotes on every single outlet and that's because we have those built-in fans everywhere. All right, so that is our downstairs. Mabel, should we take them upstairs? Let's go. I cannot wait to do these banisters. I know you always pass on the left because you're a good driver. So you come up to our main living area and you have railings here with the wrought iron and our living room will go over there in a minute. Right off the stairs, you have a really simple powder room for guests, which I love having a powder room for companies so they don't feel like they have to walk through your whole house. But this is our powder room. Mabel loves it. And then this is our living room and it's so much bigger than our last one, but laid out oddly enough very similarly. Once again, we have a remote here for the living room. So we have a fan right there. What I love is we have an enormous windowsill here and I really wanna keep the windows quite open. So what most likely is going to happen is couch 
is going to be in this area with a large rug. I have to get it in here to fill the space out and then two swivel reclining chairs there. And our TV will be mounted over the fireplace. And then there's this beautiful wall of shiplap. And then this paint color is all Sherwin-Williams. The whole house is done in Sherwin-Williams, as you know, my favorite paint brand. And I believe it's agreeable, agreeable beige or agreeable gray. It's one of those names. Um, it's a really good, warm, grayish beige color, super similar to what we had in other spaces in the house. It just is the right neutral for any any paint color. I will list all the paint colors below for you, powder rooms and all of that, so you know exactly what we have. But that's what I'm thinking. Couch here, two chairs, big round coffee table, and then I might make this like a little reading nook back there. There'll be a sofa table with lamps. I can't wait to get into the space. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So then you have the staircase built in the center of the house, very similar to our old home with the staircase coming down. It's actually, my mom and I were on FaceTime and she's like, it's the same exact house. And it has so many similarities. Then we have a really nice big closet here. I'm thinking to take advantage of the vertical space because the ceilings are so high in this house, which is another thing that's really important to me is high ceilings because it just makes everything feel bigger. But like I'm thinking like games and all the stuff you would want for company. So that's that. And now, you know, the place that's most important to us and I have the doors wide open because we have this huge tree in the backyard that covers this upper deck that we have off the kitchen. We're gonna have just like two beautiful um, swivel chairs out there, like cushioned. Cannot, cannot wait. And then you have our kitchen, and I'm sorry the lighting is the best I can get right now. Um, so we have our kitchen here and our dining room here. So what I'm envisioning is the table will be long ways with the two white chairs centered underneath with the big sisal rug. So excited for that. And then, Nice, big, beautiful windows. And then this is going to become our coffee bar area. So this will be like the drink area. So cabinetry, beautiful quartz countertops, a backsplash, this beautiful shelving. And this will be coffee machines, morning coffee, and then you'll be able to sit right at the dining room table, which was the reason why we sold our kitchen nook table because now we have all the space and then we'll have three brand new stools there. And this, oh, it's the light fixtures that kind of sold me on this home. So this is our kitchen. The cabinetry goes all the way to the ceilings. There's so much cabinet space in this kitchen, which was something, once again, that was super important to me. And yeah, big, beautiful sink with like a drainage rack, which, we could not be more thrilled with. I love the long organic tiles that are like hand pressed and glazed, similar to like the texture that we got from when we redid our kitchen. Uh, beautiful stove with a griddle. I'm so excited to get rid of our old stove, which was a Bertozzi, something very fancy, but very complicated to use. Super excited. Warming drawer, all the things, it's convection. I. I love it, I'm, I'm actually pumped about it. And then this island, so well thought out with these deep drawers for cookware, they're going to become perfect. I'm going to felt line all of them and then put my La Crusade and all my bakeware in there, which will be so, so nice. Not sure if I'll keep the hardware. Right now I really like it and it goes with the rest of the house, but stay tuned. Large cabinet here. I've never had a fridge with a water dispenser. I am quite excited about this, having a water dispenser, a nice dispenser. I've never had one, so it has thrilled me. We have the necessities of Coke Zero, some water, and then I have some protein packs. And then here is our pantry, which is a really nice walk-in pantry. You know we'll do some pantry videos. I have baskets ordered, all the things. And then I'm even thinking I can put some of my larger, not always used appliances down there, which will be really nice. And then we have a really nice professional grade um, broom and like mop holder. Picked up brand new O-Cedar mops. You guys know I love O-Cedar, they're my favorite. So I already have those ready to go. 
Let's turn this off. So that's our pantry and that's our kitchen. Also the new dog dishes go so well in here. All right, so let's go upstairs. So we have a really nice wide landing up here, which is something we didn't have in the other house, which really, really love. Of course, of course you were going to come up. Of course. Ooh, so perfect. This is our laundry. This is the first guest room once again. Everyone's on a remote, huge windows. And then also a huge walk-in closet where I've already been storing some bags. Then over here, is a linen closet, which is really nice for guests and company, just to keep all our linen, and those are all adjustable from the container store. Genius, love it. This guest room is really large. Once again, huge window. This is where I think we're going to put the big poster bed, just because I think it'll fit really well in here. And then this room, has a really nice size, not walk-in, but a really nice big closet. We put your dresses in there. Then you have the guest bathroom, which we've never had a guest bathroom off the, the main hall. Every room has always had an ensuite, so this feels really different, but double vanity, beautiful mirror and lights, love, love, love the tile work in here. Once again, another little like onset bathtub moment. And then on this angle door is our primary bedroom. So thinking a bed will go there, both nightstands with a large window, just like the old house. Not nearly as big of a window as we had at the um, old house, but so a beautiful window with trees and views of our neighbors. But really, really beautiful, beautiful bedroom. And then this goes into our primary bath. We have these awesome sconces here, this double vanity, and then I'm obsessed with the shower and the tile in here is just so beautiful and the camera doesn't do justice but there's like a warmth to it like a little bit of a gold veining it's it's beautiful so that is there then you have your good old toilet closet and then what i love is you can get ready in the morning and they can be sleeping in the room and you could come in here and do everything you need. So in here is our closet. Much, much smaller than we're used to, but we can really utilize the space and make it work. Um, I'll also probably keep some seasonal clothes over in the other closet as well. In total, this house is a little bit of a downsize for us. It's not as drastic as we were going to go. Uh, we were thinking to go much smaller. This is about 500 square feet smaller than our New York house. But we also really wanted something that felt a little bit smaller. And this feels like a really, really good size, which it's nice to know that this, this feels, this feels this feels great. So that is the first tour of the house.